Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tuesday. Welcome back from Families of Character. I'm Sarah. And I'm Jordan. And today we are going to talk about one tip on how to manage the family calendar. That's right, Sarah. I don't know if you feel this way, it's but I kind of feel like I am the only one managing all the things involved in our family calendar, and it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's totally crazy. It's uh, a lot. How many kids do you guys have? How many kid activities are you managing, managing? in a week? How many kid activities are you managing in a week? How many, how many kids? Um, hey, Courtney, thanks for joining us. We're talking about how to manage the family calendar. And we know you all have a family calendar, but I'm thinking personally, like with our family calendar, if I'm the only one who knows what's going on, when and where and all of that, then I am also taking the brunt of, I don't have my wrestling shoes. Oh no, I forgot this, right? Because if mom, is managing the calendar and all the things that go along with it. Mm -hmm. If there's a mistake, that's all on me. Yeah. So do y'all feel of, that way? Do you feel like that? Do you do you feel like that? Well, I used to feel that way. Oh, I still probably kind of feel that way because I in the like in our house. Um, hey Jeremy. Hey Colleen. We're talking about how to manage the family calendar. Um, so in my house, I kind of take on like a leadership role mm -hmm. in terms of telling people and really like deciding on the activities that we're going to do. Okay. You know, so obviously we've got basketball and <clears throat> basketball and volleyball and my work schedule and everything at night. But, um, anyway, so I just, I have to take on that leadership role and it is kind of a lot, a lot of times I feel like, why does it always come down to me? Right. Why right. does it always come down to it? Like, you know where you're supposed to be. Yeah. So, exactly, anyway. Courtney. Where's the jersey? Oh, my goodness. You <laughs> forgot your basketball and you have to have that for practice? Yeah. Ah. So, how do you crazy. keep your calendar? Speaking of okay, that. Okay, this is funny. So, I know I'm kind of ancient. This is, I think, the back. This is how I keep my calendar. It's all a paper. I have to write everything down. And I have to visually see it to be able to compute it into my head. Yes. How do you guys use keep your calendar? Are you a paper person or are you like a Google calendar? How do you do yours? I right. always think it's crazy how you do yours. I'm a Google calendar person. So my husband and I use the, the Google calendar app and we both have privileges to mm -hmm. add things and delete things. Um, so we keep it and it's in our phone. So it's not on display in our home or in paper. Um, so we just keep our electronic calendar like some of you might do. Courtney, good point. A big whiteboard calendar for all to see up on her wall. And then a Cozy app. Have you guys seen the Cozy app? It's a calendar app too, just like Google. And oh, you I've can share that it. between you and your spouse. And it oh. comes up with reminders and all that stuff. So we know you guys use calendars <laughs> to manage your family. Yeah, we know that. That's not activities. what we're really going to talk about. Uh, what we are going to, our one little tip though is, it comes down to like orderliness, right? And there's three components of orderliness, and one is to be timely. But what is the one thing that you guys have done? Like for us, we have, this is the one tip. Are you ready? We, Jordan and I both actually do this. We sit down with our families on Sunday night, and we go through all of the things that are happening that week. That's right. So that the kids know what to expect. And the husband or the spouse knows what to expect. Like mm -hmm. if my husband has some like a work thing, then I know what to expect, and we can work through the sitter options and stuff like that, or ch childcare, exactly um, for the week on that night. And so we just kind of all have a conversation about it. How many of you are actually having a conversation at the beginning of the week with your kids and your spouse about what the next week brings? It's a great question because like we said, we're all managing our calendars. Mm -hmm. We have to because that's how we get to all yeah. the things, all the events and activities. But we were just reflecting about kind of what we've implemented in our own home mm -hmm. since really like focusing in on, like Sarah said, being orderly with our time and, and really making sure we're prioritizing things. And so when we thought about our family calendar, we're like, wait, but... One of the things that we do that has been so helpful, and we've been doing it in our house for about six months, is literally just habitually every Sunday, 
15 short minutes to get everybody either in the living room or sitting around the table while you're eating dinner like you guys do. Mm -hmm. And just literally showing, like visually showing our children and ourselves the calendar all at one time, right? So for us, what we do is, thank goodness my husband is technolog, I mean, Tech savvy. Tech savvy. Technologically <laughs> Technologically savvy. <laughs> because what he does is he hooks his little computer up into our our TV, like right here in the living room. And he <laughs> like that puts our Google Calendar on display for that week. You know, and it could be tempting to like look at the entire month or the next three months. Yeah, we are too busy for that. Don't be trying to <laughs> overwhelm yourselves. We just do one week. Just we literally on Sunday, go yeah. day by day. Yeah, that's great. You know, and you guys do the same thing. It's like, Jonah, you have this. Okay, Parker, you have piano on this day. And you have, you know, we have to be at this place at this time. What have your kids gained from doing that? So it's funny because I asked them last night. I said, okay, Sarah and I are going to do this live video tomorrow about reviewing the calendar. That's something that we do at our house. Mm -hmm. What do you guys like about reviewing the calendar? And part of me was like, oh, great. They're going to be like... <laughs> We hate reviewing the calendar, but they didn't. They were like, it's great because there's no surprises. That was one of the responses. And then that's so good. our oldest said, you know, I just like to know what's happening and know like when I have downtime because he really is somebody who, who needs to mm -hmm. know that there is time on the calendar where nothing is happening. So he can kind of rest and regain his energy yeah and that's called an introvert it's an introvert yeah <laughs> and also everyone would just agreed and even my husband agreed that like it helps with transitions right so totally it takes the anxiety out of things big time huge if i mean just one little simple tip how it can like really take all of that anxiety away yeah because Kids have anxiety because they don't know what to expect. They don't know what's coming next. Yeah. And yeah. so even with, you know, in counseling, we talk about prepping your child for what's about to come, right? So that's really what we're about even just overall as an organization at Families of Character is prepping your kids for the future, mm -hmm. right? Like our yeah. little home is like a microcosm of the bigger community that they're going to be part of mm -hmm. where they're going to have to think about, I mean, think about our work. Can you imagine if we never looked at our work calendar? <laughs> we wouldn't know where to go, when to go. Right. It'd be a little unorganized. Right. And we'd be flying around feeling like, oh, I'm always, I'm, I'm forgetting something. We'd be stressed. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think back to when I was a kid. I was, I always have had like an old soul. And I always think back to when I was a kid. And, and that is probably the one thing I hated the most is not knowing yes. what was next. Not knowing what was next. It's hard. And it didn't serve me well. It would have served me better if I would have known what to anticipate, you know? So, um, Jeremy says, Livy feels much better when she knows the schedule. She asks about the schedule three or four days out of yeah. all the time. Yeah. No, I mean, like, it, it helps. So, mm. actually, we anticipated that this was probably going to be an opportunity for us to provide something for you guys. And so, do you want to show them? Yes. We have a new freebie. Up, it's been a few months since we've posted a new freebie up on our site. But we've got a new freebie. It dropped this morning. And go on there and print this off. Actually, it's four up on a page. So, yes. depending on how many kids you have. If you've got one kid, you could use this for four weeks, right? If you've got four kids, just print one of these every week. Um, you can have cut them, them out. cut them out themselves while mm -hmm. you're talking about the calendar. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And it just, like when I saw this yesterday, I was like, oh, it seems so simple. But I do think the simpler, the better for exactly. kids because they're juggling so much. And this is just like one step to help them stay orderly. Yes. Which is one of the character traits we talk about in our journals. Yes. And, you know, ultimately, like what you just said, when they're older, they have to show up to work on time, they have to be organized. How are they going to do it, you know? Right. How? And maybe they have a major assignment or a project due in school that they isn't typical for that week. They yeah. can put it on here. And then we were talking, Sarah and I were like, yeah. And then just put a little piece of tape on that and have them put it up on their bathroom mirror, right? Like yeah. eye level where, where they mm -hmm. brush their teeth. 
habitually, you know, and can see that. Okay, so Courtney actually asked a really good question. Does being, and I have actually, I have a great answer to this. So, does being too scheduled eliminate spontane spontaneous activities? Will kids be bothered about a surprise? So I think actually, so we don't, I think it's easy for us to go, 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 go. Like adults can move very quickly, right? Like raise your hand if you're an adult who can transition from one activity to the next very quickly. I know I am, mm -hmm. and I'm guilty of trying to impose that onto my kids, right? But what I have learned over the years is there's just times in the day where we have to buffer in free space. Downtime, okay? yes. So like for, for us, after school is one of those times. Like we don't go anywhere after school, we come straight home. We just know everyone comes in, everyone kind of has their specific duty that they're supposed to do, their responsibility, and they put their lunch boxes up and they get their homework out. But within that space, they're allowed to, you know, maybe get out their coloring book and color and stuff like that. They just, they know the task at hand, but there's free space built into that. And it's not me nagging them like, okay, like, you have to get ready for X, Y, Z and we have to go, we have to go. Like it's a lot of kind of, there's that two hours buffer time. Yes. And I am saying that like tonight is Tuesday. So we have basketball practice for Jonah and he knows he has basketball practice. So I am saying like Jonah, just dropping reminders. Don't forget you have basketball practice at seven. So what are the steps you need to do to take care of being organized for the one thing that's on your calendar for the week? And so he knows, but in this in that free time, mm -hmm. he's playing basketball. We've got a basketball hoop on our on our front door, so he's constantly playing basketball and playing with the baby and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a great question. It is. That's, that's why a really we, good question. We love coming live because you all are parents and you're out there doing mm -hmm. the same things we are doing, and you think of great questions to pose to the group uh, that we can interact with and engage with and. I love that. I think scheduling in downtime and even putting that on your calendar, whether it's written or it's in the Google calendar or it's on your big whiteboard or your chalkboard in your mm -hmm. kitchen, like scheduling so people can see that this is like free time. Yeah. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Great point. That's a great question. Love That's it. Great. So what we're, we know that will come from you having a 15 minute conversation with your family on Sunday nights. We're specific in telling you to do it on Sunday nights because we know it works, right? We've been doing it We've for been a doing year. It. We're sharing what works, <laughs> we people. Have. Don't try to make it complicated. We're coming to you with a simple solution. Sunday evening, <laughs> Sunday afternoon, get your family calendar out. We're not asking you to change it and do it any different. Put yeah. it on paper, put it electronic, do it how you're doing it. Yeah. Just expose your children to it. Show them. Mm -hmm. Get them engaged. Let them ask questions about their activities. Right? And then have them cut out the individual. The visual. The, visual. Yes. the freebie. My activities the freebie. for the week. We've got all sorts of crafts going on over here at my house. Yes. They can That's color fun. on it. They can write in. Yeah, they, they can, can use a special own. pen. They can post it wherever they will see yeah. it every day. Jeremy says, some schools allow you to merge your kids' classroom calendar with your Google calendar. Ooh, nice. That, Ours does. That, that would entail you to not use paper calendar. Right. <laughs> and then I would be up a creek, right? Well, yeah. you know what? I have to see it visually on a paper. Like, I have to. Whatever so. works for your yeah. family. It doesn't is... matter what kind of calendar you use. Exactly. The simple act of having the conversation at the beginning of the week to loop everybody in, that's the tip. That's, that's the takeaway it. today. And is have the conversation. Exactly. It's going to, mom, you're going to be nagging and yelling less, right? Because oh, everyone else that has is a true. stake in there's, the game. There's three benefits to this. Yeah. Real quick, let's cover them before we yep. have lunch. More family peace mm -hmm. because you're not nagging. You're not the only one that knows what's going on all week. That's right. Less, less anxiety. Less anxiety from your kids so that they know what to anticipate and they can... Um, they can get themselves ready. Yes. Which then preludes into the, or proceeds into the yes yelling. Yes. Mom gains well, team the three players. Items. Yes. Mom, yeah. do you need someone on your team? Or dad. Or dad. Jeremy's or dad. Are you Are you quarterbacking and no yeah. one else, is, everybody's running downfield with their back to the ball? No, we don't want that. No. 
we no, want so everybody looking. It feels like everyone's on the same team, and yes. and the parent doesn't have to do everything, right? Exactly. So that's the three tips for downloading our new guys. It's free. It's that's right. Free. Go to familiesatcharacter.com. Click on our freebies tab at the top, mm -hmm. and then it's right Follow there, the front and center. Follow the prompts to put in, put in your email address, and then actually our whole page of freebies comes up. But this is our newest one. Yes. So. Get yours today. With We're gonna that. check back with you and see. Did you do your family calendar review this what, coming what Sunday? What do I call this? Activities for the week. Yeah. Um, we're going to go have lunch. We are. I'm really hungry. Thanks for tuning in. You guys, if this was so great and you thought it was useful, definitely share it. Because like I said in a few weeks ago, we're just trying to grow our audience. We're trying to get the word out about Families of Character and how it can bring more peace and harmony to family life. That's right. So, so enjoy your calendar meeting. Have fun with it, mm -hmm. and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.